guys let's take that screw out but before we start if you haven't subscribed please click that subscribe button to support my channel so that I could make more videos for you guys and please check the description below for the links of all the tools and all the parts that I've used in this video thank you there's still option that depends on what you're gonna do with it if you want to change the fan or just to clean it what you're gonna do is just take off three screws in each fan and two screws that are attached to the heat sink in the shroud, from the shroud or if you just want to repaste and change the thermal pad just take off six screws just one two three four five and six and this whole thing will come off and separate from the heat sink If you just want to clean the dust from the fan and the heatsink, you just remove that 15 screws in the front and you can just open this and then use a brush like this. This is just a normal paintbrush and brush it or you can use an air blower. It's the best to clean the heatsink. And then I'm gonna show you if you just want to repaste and change the thermal pads, you don't need to take off the screws from the fan what you're gonna do is just take off unscrew six screw one two three four five and six Take off the heat sink and remove the fan connector. To remove the back plate from the PCB, you have to remove to unscrew one, two. Three, four, five, six tiny screw. And there's two more. 
She at the back. This should come up now. To remove the connector is best if you use a tweezer. And the thermal pads at the back of the back plate is also two millimeter. Two millimeter.
So thermal pad thickness. It's two millimeter. I'm going to use the jelly thermal pan. This fourth in here is for the connector for the fan. Both this fan is linked together and this one is separate. And this one is for the LED for the RGB light. Thank you. 